Right now, new video that came in overnight of those terrible wildfires scorching Australia. Millions of acres already burned. Officials estimate the country is facing nearly half a billion dollars in losses, and that is just so far. It all just Brian Monahan is tracking things right now in Severe Weather Center 2. And Brian, the flames that are, are ripping across Australia are huge. Are, are, are enormous. You see the numbers, and then I want to compare the numbers of how high these flames are in the hottest spots and the biggest fires compared to some local landmarks, and it is incredible. So here's where the fires are now. I put this map together to show you where all the active fires are from the west coast of Australia all the way to the east coast. Some of the worst ones right here near Sydney and Melbourne. Those are some of the terrible pictures of all the smoke kind of choking the air and covering the sky. Well, the flames from some of these fires up to about 230 feet in height. Some By comparison, the King and Queen Towers up in Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, top side of the perimeter, about 550 feet. So that would be about halfway up those buildings. And Mercedes-Benz Stadium, about 300 feet tall. So these fires burning at heights, almost the height of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Just incredible, incredible stuff there in Australia. And take a look at this, about 15 million acres. There's this map again, have been scorched across Australia's six states so far this fire season. To put that into perspective, how big are these fires? How much land are they covering? twice the size of Maryland and bigger than states like Vermont, New Hampshire, and New Jersey. The fires, they're having a major impact uh, or, or on wildlife. This is video of a koala. Look at that being treated for burns on its nose from the water bottle there. Just incredible devastation to wildlife there. The fires have killed close to 480 million animals in New South Wales alone. The Australian Zoo, which is run by the late Steve Irwin's family, is taking in as many as they can. Help is on the way from the U.S. 20 veteran California firefighters are heading to Australia to help out with the deadly wildfires. Their deployment, it's expected to last at least 30 days. It's summer in Australia right now, and these fires likely to burn for months to come. Linda? From the